y'all? I just said y'all. I said I wasn't going to say y'all today. I heard that. But <laughs> I just said y'all. Um, we are back doing another summertime salad because it is so hot outside. How hot is it? It is 90 <laughs> and humid. So we summer has arrived and it is time to go it is hot. either soak yourself under the hose or be in a swimming pool. It is hot in Mississippi. It is. And wait, but look, I've got to, I'm not going to hold Max the whole time. I realize that, you know, having a dog in a cooking series is not very <laughs> sanitary. Max is away from the food. Uh, but look at my little puppy, how much he's grown. He's so Isn't sweet. He's sweet. Can you say hey, Max? He has the cutest little face. He does. He just loves us to death. He loves to sleep with us. He's spoiled <laughs> rotten. But anyway, say That's bye to him, Max. For. Say bye. Say bye, Max. Goodbye, y'all. <laughs> Don't say y'all. <laughs> she did. She said y'all. We can't help it. That's what my mama used to say. We can't help it. She wouldn't say help. It was help. <laughs> they just can't help it, Marsha. I can hear her saying it right now. And but I can't help. They can't help it, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll wash my hands. I try oh, not to say Did I say wash or wash? You said wash. Uh, I I don't, wash your hands. I don't even hear me saying wash. Do you say wash or wash? I say, I try to say wash. I try to say it too, but it just creeps in. Sometimes our southern comes out. Uh, a lot. Sometimes we open our mouths and our mama comes out. Yes. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. That happens a lot. So today we're going to make uh, a taco salad, but we're going to kick it up just a little bit. It's a Doritos taco salad. And if you like taco salad and you've never had one with Doritos chips in it, then you need to try it because it, it just makes it so much better. It is delicious. Um, and so we have some iceberg lettuce here that's already chopped up. And what I did, and I love to do this, is um, after I, when I chop my lettuce and I put it in a salad spinner, and then mm -hmm. rinse it off and it has like a colander thing inside it uh, and then you spin it and it throws all the, the water, water off mm -hmm. of it and it goes inside the uh, another container the outside container of it and it makes the most crispy mm -hmm. lettuce i mean it, it just changes the whole the whole lettuce the whole salad <laughs> it makes it so crispy and so it is one of those good gadgets to have in your kitchen it is if you make a lot of salads it's a really salad good spinner yeah. it, it's worth keeping it even though they do take up a lot of room but it's worth having it around when you want a, a crisp salad um so we have a head of lettuce here yeah. and then and this is another a simple simple salad we say that about everything i think we tell you how delicious every one of our, our recipes are and how easy and they are easy they really are i mean i think people get a little carried away sometimes if they see more than three or four ingredients mm -hmm. but it's just a matter of like we've told you before in our previous videos is getting everything measured out line it up and all you have to do is just Put, put it, it in, in one at a time and you know when i first started cooking um i started cooking because i wanted to make the meals that my mama made and um it, when i would see a recipe and it had three or four ingredients and i would say oh i can do that i can do that and you know and i started out that way but then the more i cooked and the more mm -hmm. i got familiar i would see one with 10 or 11 ingredients and i would go oh <laughs> I don't know if I could do that one, but but yeah, you you know you can yeah. just just work your way up to it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we're gonna start out with. So what I've got here is um, some some ground beef that is lean ground beef, and um, I cooked that and drained the grease off of it, mm -hmm. and then added the reduced sodium taco seasoning, and this is actually a Weight Watchers recipe, so you can eat this and feel feels yeah not bad about yourself yeah not yeah. so bad about yourself because so many so many salads there uh you think oh i'm eating a salad and if you really look at the all the ingredients and by the time you put a heavy dressing on it it's a thousand calories it is it's almost like a you know 
almost a day's worth of eating mm -hmm. in just one big salad. And so then we have some diced uh, tomatoes. Those are Roma tomatoes because so far we haven't started getting our really fresh tomatoes yet. But speaking of tomatoes, my tomato plants are looking wonderful. Maybe uh, next week we'll take you outside and show you my garden. Ours are too in this are heat. They, yeah. they have just oh. jumped up. Yes. They're huge. And I've got blooms on some. Do you have blooms? Yes, I have blooms and I've got blo I've got little bitty squash. And they're so cute. They're just little bitty yellow squash. I'm so excited. And so then we've got some fat-free cheese. Um, now, fat is it fat-free or low? Um, is it, which one is it? Fat-free or just... Um, I can't remember. I personally... I don't like the fat-free. I don't either. like fat-free either. I like um, reduced... Reduced fat. Reduced fat. I think that's what it Whether is. it's sour cream, I think it's very tolerable. Mayonnaise is very tolerable. Reduced fat. And cheesy is too. But when you go to the no fat, there's just something that... Not it's just not right. Yeah, and so then um, we just mix this, and you can add you can add beans to this. You can add kidney beans. You can mm -hmm. add black beans. You can add corn. You can add all kinds of things, you know, to this to make it give it a little more protein if you wanted to. Uh, and we've got cilantro, so we got this from uh, Marcia's of uh, her garden. Yes. So I thought we would add some. I like cilantro. A lot of people don't like cilantro, so if you don't, you know, don't add it. Yeah, and if you want the look of the green, like look of cilantro, you can you can always substitute chopped parsley for that. Uh, parsley to me doesn't have that much of a flavor at all. I personally like cilantro, but either you like cilantro or you don't like cilantro. But I love cilantro myself. Yeah. And then um, in, in a garden, cilantro doesn't do well in heat, so it really does well in the springtime to grow it or in the fall. But um, once yeah. it gets hot, it just it goes just, to seed. Yeah, yeah, it sure does. Um, and we were going to talk about this morning. I was at home when I was getting ready to come to Marsh's, and I was watching the Today Show, and I saw where they do the the special birthdays, smokers, uh, the smokers, the smokers jars. I saw a lady from Olive Branch on there, so we want to tell her happy birthday. Her name is Martha Owen. Yes. So happy birthday, Martha. Yeah. We don't know you, but. We um, want to wish you a happy birthday. We celebrate anybody that turns 100. <laughs> and she was very, very attractive lady, She too. was. She looked good. Yes, she looked for 100. Yes, yeah. yeah, she looked great. So um, all we have to do is mix this now. And then if you're mixing this at home and you're making it, um, you know, for your family, you can mix this up in advance and have it ready to go. But don't put the Doritos in until you're about to serve it because they'll get you know soggy. they'll get soggy and you don't want that you want them to be crunchy because that's what adds the extra flavor to this taco salad so looks good we are going to i'll just take a handful of these marcia mm -hmm. we're going to crunch them in there i love this salad when i make it at home i could eat it for days it I is mean, good it is so good and i love um, taco flavored meat. Mm -hmm. And anyway. all these salads that we're showing y'all, I mean, if you've got any uh, an event that you're going to for uh, Memorial Day, these, these all three of these would be great to take for you, or if someone asks you to bring something or if you want to bring something. And you know, we just recently had Mother's Day, so wouldn't that be, that would have been good yeah. for Mother's Day. Yeah. A salad like this. So what did you do for Mother's Day? Um, we went to Roy's parents. They live in Walnut, Mississippi. And if y'all are familiar with Walnut, it's near Ripley, Mississippi. And I took lunch for them. We had uh, turkey and dressing and, you know, oh, yeah. all the trimmings. Yeah, we it's, had... About this time, you're starting to want a little turkey and dressing mm -hmm. because you hadn't usually had any since either Christmas or Thanksgiving. And we made deviled yeah. eggs and, oh, I don't know what else. Um, oh, what a special treat. Carrot salad. Yeah, I posted that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I made carrot salad and grape salad because they both love that. Mr. Lindsay loves the carrot salad and uh -huh. she loves the grape salad. So Ooh. I made both of that. And she had fresh green beans and fresh corn. So we had a, a feast that day. That sounds like a treat. And we had treat. strawberry shortcake for dessert. Oh, really? Did, uh, were there Mississippi strawberries? No, um, I know they're in. They're coming in. Starting they to come are in? coming in. I haven't gotten any local I ones, but any um, yeah, yeah. We had strawberry shortcake, and it was really good. We had a, then we all took a nap. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I saw the the Hernandez um, uh, farmers market on Saturday. Said they had Mississippi strawberries. Oh, so, yeah. 
uh, I got to make it down there. I'm kind of waiting until all the other fresh vegetables come in because that's really why I want to go for the corn and the butter beans and the peas and the, yeah. I think if you want strawberries, though, you're going to have to get them now. You know, now, yeah, yeah, they, they don't, don't last long. Mm -hmm. They don't last long. Um, yeah, and I can't wait to get fresh everything. Me either. So okay. anyway, then we um, just pour. This is a light Catalina yeah. dressing. You can use. You can use ranch, you could use Thousand Island, you could use French dressing, but this Catalina to me is so good because it's it has a little bit of a... I love Catalina dressing. A little kick mm -hmm. to it, a little bite. I don't know what you want to... Just stir and then we'll see if we need to add the rest of it. We'll probably do. What, uh, I don't know what Catalina dressing... Do you think Catalina... I've got to look this up. Catalina and Russian dressing are the same thing? I think they're similar. Very similar. Yeah, I really do, but... I love Catalina with And this. I never make it. But I have made it. And it's good to make homemade, too. It's real mm -hmm. good to make. I love I love fresh. This is bottled, but I love to make fresh dressings. It makes such a difference. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put the rest of it. My mouth is watering just starting to rest. So y'all are going to have to try this recipe because it, it really it does very, very change good. just a normal taco salad. It really and does And it's because you think of the Doritos? I do. do. Okay. They're nacho cheese Doritos. Nacho cheese. It's nacho cheese. Yes. Nacho cheese. And um, they just really add a lot of flavor. And the crunch, I mean, you know, that, it, I just love a yeah, crunch. I do too. Got to add a crunch. Yeah, it's satisfying. Very much so. All right. All right. So, so that's all mixed up. I'm going to hold this up for you closer. Try not to spill any out, but look how pretty it is and we're fixing to sample it for you but thank y'all for joining us and we're going to do one more salad so you've got three different choices possibly to take uh for your next uh and again memorial day memorial day is coming perfect time to come up that any of these salads will be mm -hmm. light refreshing easy to make it's going to be hot yeah. on memorial day yes, too so you're yeah. going to need something a little cool and so, this is it there we go but thank y'all for joining us you have a good day and we'll be back with our third salad thank you see y'all later